It's a new year here in January of 2023, and Watchman Privacy has existed for a year and a half. I thought I would give a manifesto of what Watchman Privacy is and where it's going. This will be helpful if you're a new listener. By the way, my name is Gabriel Custodiat. Watchman Privacy teaches people privacy and freedom tactics alongside a contrarian view of the world. The latter part is important. Many of the best episodes so far, I think of Privacy and Psychopaths, Rental Culture as Slavery, and my interview with Jayant Pandari, take a step back to investigate fundamental problems with our world. If you want to know about the privacy settings of the most recent iPhone update, there are other channels for that. But if you want to know why Apple cannot give you privacy, I have an episode with that very name. That's not to say I won't get into the nitty gritty details of privacy tactics, as I do in my privacy guide, but that I'm not going to be the channel where you find all the latest ephemeral privacy news. I analyze the news, I digest it, I contextualize it, and I make a themed episode for you. I talk about the fundamental privacy problems of the world. That's Watchman Privacy. It follows that Watchman Privacy will not shy away from the political discussions that are not only important to privacy, but that are the essence of any privacy discussion. I don't care about losing an audience for saying that privacy laws are not only useless but counterproductive. I care about showing you all of the options for privacy and freedom as I see them. I care about exposing you to the ideas that will allow privacy to flourish in society and consequently in your life. Similarly, Watchman Privacy will not shy away from radical topics that others don't have the courage to address. We'll continue to talk about torrenting and non-KYC crypto and offshoring and anything in between. A few things more about what Watchman Privacy is not. Watchman Privacy will avoid sponsorship and advertising. You're not going to see me reading an ad about how ExpressVPN can not only protect your online data, but cure your cancer. Why? Because how else can I have the space to have conversations with people like Victor Vexe about some of the problems with big VPN providers? Sponsorships and ads are a subtle and rarely acknowledged muzzle on a creator, and I refuse to be muzzled. I also don't want to form into a Telegram or Discord server or any other kind of community forum. There are plenty of places to talk about privacy with others, and I don't want to foster that myself. I also don't want to spam you with low-quality stuff on a daily basis. Instead, I want you to know that Watchman Privacy means carefully crafted and useful podcasts, books, and courses, all of which are respectful of your time. And I do want to emphasize this carefully crafted aspect. I regularly make one to 200 edits when revising my interviews. I sometimes remove as much as a quarter of the conversation because it is not up to my standards and to speed it up. There is much too much stuff out there on the internet. You can expect me to always release tightly curated audio, video, and text. Let's move on to what Watchman Privacy is. Watchman Privacy has three pillars, the podcasts, books, and courses. First and foremost, the free podcast will be the focus of this brand. On this podcast, I will continue to alternate between privacy techniques and broader views of the concept of privacy and its status in the world. So we might have one episode on phone privacy tactics and then one episode on the deep state and its consequences for us. I will also alternate between my own writing and guest interviews. I want the Watchman Privacy Podcast to be the most compelling and useful show. Full stop. The second pillar of Watchman Privacy will be my books. I have two books planned for 2023. There may be more. One is a Bitcoin book, while one is an intellectual history of privacy, which serves as a statement about my views on privacy and its decline. Regarding my current book, The Watchman Guide to Privacy, I have continued to update it. In fact, it's gone through nearly a dozen revisions and an addition of 40 pages from version 1.0 to now. Reading books remains the best way to consume knowledge, in my opinion, and I will continue to deliver them. The third pillar of Watchman Privacy will be its courses. The idea with courses is to have a way to reach a larger audience and to monetize the brand, in addition to offering high-quality tutorials that any privacy seeker should be interested in. I will, of course, continue to publish my twice-monthly newsletter and offer consulting, as well as to be active on Twitter and alternative social media. Furthermore, I do my best to present on other podcasts, at conferences, and to occasionally write for publications. This helps to expand my audience and also gets me writing about and talking about different subjects. That's plenty enough to be doing, and I would encourage you to take advantage of Watchman Privacy in whatever way interests you. So what should you do now? Well, subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts, or in multiple places. I'm on Rumble and BitChute and Odyssey, by the way. 
Then purchase my Watchman Guide to Privacy, subscribe to my newsletter on watchmanprivacy.com, and buckle up for a ride exposing the world for what it really is and giving you the tactics you need to deal with it.